All right, y'all. Uncut Live Productions is out and about in the beloved Ward 8. And we have a candidate by the name of Fred Hill for Ward 8. Can you tell the people why they should vote for the Fred Hill? Well, firstly, Fred Hill will show up for every council budget hearing. As you can see, last year, Trayon White missed 109 DC City Council budget hearings. How does that affect Ward 8 voters? If he wasn't there, they lose their money, their budget, the allocation. It affects homelessness in Ward 8. It affects housing in Ward 8. It affects jobs in Ward 8. And so you can go on Facebook right now and pull up Trayon White's Facebook page and see that he was in Jamaica or the Bahamas or the Caribbean twice celebrating his birthday when he should have been at the D.C. City Council hearing to vote on Ward 8. That's number one. Fred is not going to miss any vote for Ward 8. The second reason is Fred absolutely loves senior citizens. Senior citizens make up more than 50% of Ward 8 population. Fred will make sure that senior citizens will be exempt from paying property taxes. What does that mean? At the age of 65, they no longer will pay property taxes. How does Fred know? Because Fred did the research and discovered that there are 23 other states that already have in place where if you're 65 and above, you don't have to pay property taxes. That's two reasons. The third reason is young people. Fred is very concerned about the future of young people in Ward 8. Today, young people have no future. Young people are unemployed. Young people are uneducated. Young people are homeless. And so Fred will make sure that the needs of Fred 8, Ward 8 young people are addressed. And lastly, character. Fred has character. Fred can be trusted. Fred is a veteran. He's been here as a veteran. He's a Ward 8 resident for 25 years, and he's hired, not planned to hire, but he's already hired, past tense, a minimum of 350 Ward 8 residents, not from Ward 2, Ward 6, Ward 7, Ward 8, of which 150 were ex-offenders or returning citizens. And so I hope I've answered your question on why voters should vote for Fred Hill. There you have it. Woo! Vote Fred Hill, Ward 8, City Council. Woo, 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 woo. Let's go, Fred Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dreamers and, and business, people those who desire to be in business, but I like the idea that there's science on your on your path because there's so many. I have two students right now that I'm in a port. I started out in the portable sanitation industry, and what I found out is that in the septic business, when I first got into port bodies, there were not many African Americans doing. It. So when I showed up to the first um, convention, I called the Porter Potty Convention, but it was liquid waste industry convention. It was 3,800 people at that convention. There were three African Americans, me, my wife, and the gents. And the first year they said, oh, he's here today, gone tomorrow, he ain't gonna do this. And everything cost a billion dollars to get into it, but you know, we stayed hard at it and we started out with three Porter Potties and now we have over 2,800. Um, and then that grew, that business grew 15 other businesses in six different states, doing different things like event rooms, tables, tents, chairs, generators, lighting. Yeah, yeah. And it's been hard. You know, but the thing that uh, that brought me to what, what 
what you were talking about is my wife and I, we, we, we helped two students to get into college. And one became, uh, because in the liquid waste industry, there are not many of us on the science side. And so one became an oceanographer. Uh, because they yeah. Found, yeah, one became an oceanographer. She she was in uh, she was in school six years. She did something else. I can't remember if it was a master's or something else after the four year. But she did something ex extended. And then uh, the other one is actually now um, studying uh, what started out to be into um, biology. But that is something else that spun off into the medicine center around the vaccine studies. The biotech. That's it. Biotech. That's it. Absolutely. That's it. It blew me away, you know. But I was I was so happy to be a part of it because as I tell them, we're not the reason you're doing it. We're just a part of what you're doing. And we got to get more of us in a position where if we can show that same model to other people that are in business, then we can support more of our kids in the college. You know, and their extended, and their extended um, education, and opportunities for business and, and uh, living wage careers, not like just a minimum wage job. So that's what I want to do. Absolutely. I want to see us more homeowners. I want to see us more as business owners. You know, in control of our destiny, as opposed to looking for somebody to give us something. Yes. So I want to help you. No All right. Well, let's talk some more tomorrow, and, okay. and what we'll You'll do. You'll be here. Yeah, I'll stop here. This is the the place where I stop first, and then I start making my bounce around said, all day. I said, I said, and I loop each one of the centers uh, for about fifteen minutes. Go That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you.